Okay, we're starting uh, day 10, surviving seven days to die. this here. It's been a while since I was back. Working stiff. Okay. So on our maps here, I'm not sure if I've been doing it. Um, save your waypoint so you know where you've been. So you can come back. There's my shelter. Let's see. I'm pretty much almost full up here, so I'm going to head back to town. To my town. To my shelter and um kind of take stock of what we got we don't have <laughs> Sorry, bunny. I don't know if I went in here or not. So we're going in, take it out. Since we're here, these usually have a bookcase in them. Scrap armor. It's, it's not bad. It's not great. There's a bunch of ammunition. That's pretty awesome. magazine. I know that one. What can we get rid of and our scrap here? Let's eat that. This is leather. Do I have leather? I do. So let's pick these up. The beer is always good. Run around, not worry about it. More boots. No. Scrap 
that um, we really need more inventory space. What do we make this jump? Blueberries. Uh... Okay. Careful when you're in these spaces, these gas barrels will explode. Um, especially if you run into a, a cop, <coughs> a zombie cop, and uh, <coughs> they will also blow up cars when they puke. The cars in the way, it'll blow up. So be wary of that. A battery. Military fiber. Let's put those on and pick those up. Okay, I'm going to mark this too. Just mark a gas as a gas station <clears throat> so that we know to come back if when we get our we get a mini bike or whatever. Okay. It's uh which way did we come in here? So we're just going to make a beeline straight back <clears throat> on day 10. I want to um, avoid the cactus here. And we gotta, we got to figure out what we're going to do. Um, I think we're going to try to go and break into that town because we really need to find um, some stores. Now working stiff was nice, but we're going to need to find a bookstore, hopefully. Maybe a shotgun messiah. So we can uh, get some weapons. I 
don't have enough stuff to start making arrows and This is the worst part, heading back. <clears throat> so, um, besides looking for feathers, which we always should be doing, avoiding zombies. Watching out for stumps. Stumps are very nice. Usually you can find the flashlights on them. Watch when you're running down hills. You don't break your break your leg. Stop running, damn it. I don't know if they, um, sent you or hear you or what. Got him. We don't need the animal fat, we don't need the bones, so that's good. Oh, oh. Oh, and a stamina, be careful. bit here. Get my stamina back up. I really wanted to grab some stone, but... You always run slow up hills. If you jump, it, it helps you out. by the church here so it shows up on my map or the cemetery right 
there. I've already been in this one. So I want to start thinking about trying to set up a garden um, as well. That's probably the next... big thing you want to do. You need to get some renewable resources. So corn and potatoes. goldenrod. So, and we could talk, talk a little bit about that now. The core, you say to make a row of like 10 and then you do 10, plant 10 corn. That'll give you 30 when you pick it, and then you you convert 10 of that into seeds, and you plant those 10, and then you have uh, 20 corn left over. Then I plant two rows of potatoes. Oh, there's a hole. So it's on my map. See a big black spot holes. Let's not fall in here. See that's um the ores down there. It's a lot easier to get. What is that there? So come back here maybe and um, start a partial mine or something maybe. Shotgun short barrel, that's for the salt of shotgun. I'm just going to take what I can from here. Duct tape, glue. Let's convert this real quick. already got meat on us so might as well shotgun 
shotgun parts. Scrap that. Scrap pistol parts. <laughs> I don't think I have... Oh, I do have a shotgun. Okay, I'm going to take that over the grain alcohol. Grain alcohol I think you use for... Um, um, making bandages, I think. All right. Okay, almost back. Bird nest. So that we were a waste for so long, um, this area might be repopped. Okay. So you can remember where this stuff goes. Leather. Oh my gosh. The food out of here. Eggs. Animal hide. Pipes. Barbs. Repairs, but doesn't here for now, I guess. Casings, paper. Shotgun parts. Auger blade parts. Put this in here because I'm gonna make uh, gunpowder with that. Okay, let's go get. Hopefully, this is close. Ten of those because I didn't look to see if I even had any this golden rod to plant and or potatoes. Potatoes are the hardest because <clears throat> usually you have to find them on drops and stuff.
dead, I hope. No, yep, no. in the water. There it is right there. Okay. Not too far off, I guess. Not too deep either. Okay, back. Chainsaw schematic. <laughs> not good, not bad, but loud as hell. I know that for, for a fact. Always use the coal and the potassium nitrate to make um, gunpowder. Use trees for your f cooking. Level nineteen. I'm gonna grab some more stone here. Wood for we're gonna want a, a bunch of arrows for when we go into town. So I'm gonna grab these trees here. We got we got a bunch of arrow, a bunch of feathers now, so that's really good. And I'm still going to collect them because if I can find a crossbow, um, that'll be my silent weapon. Those birch trees don't give any 
seats. Rid of that thing. Okay, we got a bunch of medical supplies. I guess beakers can be considered medical supplies. You can convert bones into, I think, glue, and then glue into duct tape. this here food you can convert animal fat into um biofuel i think that's about it though Oh, into tallow. You can use that to make tor torches. I'll just do that here. Okay, I got one corn seed, and, and I'm going to convert these to 10. I do have a bunch more wood. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do like 200. Arrows. Okay. And clay, we're gonna need um, a hoe. Let's see what we got here for hoes. Four forged iron. I grab the shovel. We're gonna need some more clay. I don't know where I was digging it. I don't remember. Some right over there. I guess we can just do that. So it's close. Let's mark this on the map too. Usually try to shovel this in a straight line, but Gotta do the boring stuff too, though. It's, even if you can try to multitask, like 
We're making arrows. Forging some iron. Shoveling some clay. Let's get a thousand of it. Until the shovel breaks. It's gonna be a while, I think. What are we at on it? We got 24 left. Is that 24 digs, I think? So that was seven. So I always like to try to find a flat, flat spot to build my garden. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but... Just makes it a little bit easier. been doing is um getting these little plates make 10 of them Okay, now we need um, a hoe. And hopefully this forge is done. an iron hoe because you have to have a hoe to do it and I'm pretty sure I don't have one okay so let's make one Craft that up. I'm gonna put this in here. And half of that in there. Still got a couple hours left. So this is the hard part. We're waiting for the hoe to complete. <laughs> um Okay, so if you you want to go the same way and the same direction, 
and keep things the same. So, because this can get ugly if done incorrectly. Okay, so you make your first row right next to your wood that you put down here. So you can kind of say, oh yeah, there, perfect. Now, do not try to put the next row right next to it. Skip one row over. See, that's one. See how the green that green box shows up? Skip one. Go over one. And now start your next row here. Okay, same thing. And if you s squat, I find that sometimes it's easier to see the box. That would be the one, and then this would be the new row. So one row of corn, two rows of potatoes, and then a one and our two rows of um, the golden rod. I don't know if we're going to get this done before. It's time to go. Okay. So skip one. Again, start your next row here. Always go in the same direction because um, it gets funky if you don't. So I found that this is the best way to do it. Okay, so one, one, two, we'll do one, two, in case we ever say we need um, cotton, but I doubt it. So, and I was actually hoping I didn't have to kill those bird nests, and looks like I won't have to, which is nice. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to put in our seeds here. And our one piece of corn. <laughs> this should turn into, th that should turn into three. And then the three will turn into six. And then you, you know how it goes. We need to find some potatoes if we can. I'm going to go back to the other building and see if there's any there. Okay. Sounds like we have a friend. <clears throat> Oh, yes. Okay. So we did have some more. And I'm going to plant all these. We have a ton of shit over here. For some reason, I thought I had moved a bunch of stuff. I guess not. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's bring all these over. This stuff over after. A ton of paper. Ton of paper over. Okay, we got an hour and a half left, probably. Well, so let's um. Uh, let's get the corn out and then. Potatoes. 
Hopefully our little friend over there stays over there. Okay, awesome. And then... Okay. Well, that's actually not too bad for now, I guess. For day 10. Okay, so... Great. More steel arrows, bullet casings. I'm going to put these in here. stack of them. The clay there as well. That stuff's still cooking up. Too many pop. What's up with all these mobs? Come on, help.
damn it. I'm out of wool. Steel. Iron, sorry. Okay, so out here our, our, our goal is going to be two sets of these the big spikes and that's it but they're going to be fully upgraded so we're going to need a lot more iron. Um, which usually means you start digging a, digging a hole to mine in. Looks like I'm getting thirsty. Food, food. Okay, let's see what we need here. Water and food. So we don't dehydrate and our star Is so loud. Okay. Got the garden up. Got arrows. We're not going to need plant fibers much. I'm just going to make another chest for that stuff. For Time is it? Zero two. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to be like fibers and maybe 
I don't know. Wood. Wood stuff. There we go. Okay. So, this is going to be set for breaking stuff down. Got some more food. Got the garden growing. We got five of kits. Beer. Um, 53 rounds. 249 arrows. And we're going to... I think we're going to try to break into the town here. We'll, we'll come to this corner here. And check it out. See if we can find. So, so today was just kind of a, a get back and start a couple of things. Um, we know where this pit is now. We can go there and mine, or we can just start digging down um, I'm not sure how exciting that's going to be watching someone mine all the way down to bedrock to get iron a lot quicker I'm getting stone for concrete to upgrade um, time is it, it was 0156 let's run across and uh Grab some more stuff out of the the big house over here. <laughs> Clay and brass. Hmm. See how many. I still can't assemble it. I'm gonna to look to see how many of those rounds I have. Um, I like using a pistol against the dogs. I think it's um, easier <clears throat> when you're fighting them. Okay, let's go back and then dump this stuff off. And then we're gonna. I just heard a zombie to my left. <clears throat> okay. First aid kit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wood stuff. <clears throat> that would be wood stuff as well. And I guess pine seeds would be wood stuff, and cotton would be wood stuff. Leather. Put this with the food. Cooking pot.
Hmm. Supplies. I just put these in here until I can break them down. <clears throat> Okay, so how many? 72. I think I'm going to swap this out. I'm going to take uh, my 9mm instead of hunting rifle. And that should be it for now. Okay, I'm going to end us here and um, start up day 11. And uh, that might be a little bit more exciting when we try to break into town. Okay? Seven days to die.